Hi, I hope you're well. I had a lovely day so far. Welcome back to my channel. Frequently asked questions on my IG, which is how I manage exercise regularly. I have period where I am extremely motivated and period where I'm less motivated. Uh, for me to ensure that even in a period where I'm like, I'm not feeling it, I'm still exercising consistently, I've implemented system that helps me to fall back on them and I can then push myself also on days where I'm like, I don't feel it. But with that, keep in mind, I personally enjoy to exercise. I use exercising to escape responsibility. Do you all have those things that we enjoy to do? So for instance, for another person, we're just watching Netflix, which is nothing wrong. I do watch Netflix, so, and I do that in the gym. Um, but another person, we may be going swimming, going for a walk, going shopping. So if you are looking on your Instagram fitness blogger and guru and car, and you're seeing that they are exercising regularly, just keep in mind, maybe fitness is something for them that they generally enjoy to do. Like for you, it would be, for instance, Netflix or shopping. It's like, it's, you don't need much motivation to shop, isn't it? Or uh, if you have the money. <laughs> on top of that, a fitness guru, often main jobs not all of them but some of them main job is exercising so like you have school uni or a nine to five that you have to be there that's their job so they do have to show up they don't have to discuss with themselves whether they're going to the gym or not it's because it's their job you, it's not like you wake up every single day and you ask yourself should i go to school should i go to uni should I get to work it's like you have to so you show up just keep those two things in mind when you're comparing to someone who exercises regularly, has a certain physique or a certain lifestyle. However, that should be an excuse. There is ways and tricks and strategy where you could try um, within your capability to achieve the same level of consistency like someone whose job is exercising or looking a certain way. My tips and tricks are three, or oh, I'll uh, divide into three components. One is planning, the second is tracking, the third one is reward. Planning gives you a good idea where are you at the moment, where do you want to head to, and how you're going to achieve that goal. Planning would sit down and be like, okay, what exactly do I want to achieve? How should the goal make me feel? For instance, would be, I think the usual thing would be like, I want to lose 10 pounds or 20 or whatever. But how should that goal be, look like in a week's time? One kg, kilogram a week, should it be two or should it be three? Um, and how realistic is that? In Within your current lifestyle, what needs to be adjusted for you to be able to achieve that goal. Planning gives a good understanding of where you are, where you're heading, and how realistic it is. Your lifestyle changes. I started exercising uh, 2016, 17. So within the different phases in my life, my lifestyle changes drastically. As a student, I had ridiculous amount of time to exercise. Currently, I don't. I can't afford it due to the to the lifestyle I have at the moment. But however, I can implement a system into my daily routine to ensure that all the obstacles I have are eliminated, or at least I'm aware of them, and I can work towards them or against them to ensure that I am working and planning to achieve. So anyway, the first part is planning. Understanding where you are, where you're trying to go, and how realistic it is, and what do you need to adapt in your lifestyle to be able to achieve it. Realistic also means regularly checking in with the plan you made and adjusting if you need to. With that, it gives you an understanding of the current state, which is like the new state then, and then also the obstacles that are there due to the changes of lifestyle and adapting if you need to. Okay, the second part is a tracking. With tracking, I don't mean only to go on scale. And I feel like often when people are saying track your progress, it's always reduced and the number that you can see on scale. Yes, obviously the number is not something you can go on a story. It's the sign just say bye-bye. So I'm going to come closer so you can see me better. Anyway, uh, so the, the goal is not always attached to a number. And also, at the beginning, this might be easier to um, notice and to track progress, but later due to the diminishing return, it might be harder. So having implemented from the beginning various way of tracking your progress, it's a good idea. So for instance, how do you feel overall? What's your mood? What's uh, maybe taking a picture? So find for yourself a way to track progress that is healthy and also good. Anyway, so that's the part of tracking. And the last part is reward, which is my favorite part. Exercising can be exhausting. My personal rewards always involves activewear. I love new, fresh, good looking activewear. So it's something that has launched that I like it's pricey I'll be like okay you know what instead of me just getting it because I have the money I would attach an outfit to maybe like the next month on exercise weekly five times but also with that I'm quite realistic and tracking regularly and going back and reviewing the plan I made 
to which degree that was realistic to achieve. So just because I said the beginning it's going to be five times a week, but if I realize I've got a lot of work project and five times more than the rest, I'll still get the uh, the article. But when I s saw that I did on my very best to be able to to try to achieve it, I'll still reward myself. So be realistic with your goal, but also be realistic with your tracking. Be honest with yourself. Anyway. To summarize my thoughts, my three tips to exercise regularly is planning doesn't plan, plan to fail. The second thing is tracking, and tracking doesn't always it's down to scale. You could do whatever works for you. And the last thing is reward. And that's all from me for today. I hope the tips have helped you. If yes, please leave a comment down below, but also share with us what your tips, tricks, and strategy that helps you to head your ass regular to the gym or exercise I have regularly. Okay, that's all for me for today. Thank you for watching. Wish you all a lovely day and bye.